When we think romance, we think flowers, candles, and wine. Well, we sent Central Valley Today's Monique Sultani out to help you find that special bottle of Valentine's Day vino. Nothing says romance like a bottle of red or white wine. And here to help us pick the perfect bottle that'll please your palate and your pocketbook at the same time is Nick Marzaliano. We're here at Sam's Italian Deli and Market, and we're talking about one of my favorite things, wine. This is so exciting. Thanks for having us. Oh, thank you for coming. So you have some kind of Valentine's Day themed wines. We do. We actually have a few of them by the label, what I think would pair up well with a nice Valentine's dinner at home. Um, starting off with the El Cuore, which is a Mendocino County wine, uh, meaning the heart. Uh, it's a blend of Sangiovese, Zinfandel, uh, Malbec and Merlot, which uh, drinks really well, pairs up nicely. And this is so great because it has the hearts on it. So, I mean, nothing says love like hearts, right? Exactly. So you kind of put some thought into it if you pick up a bottle and take it to your wife or girlfriend. Exactly. And what kind of, uh, what type of wine is this? Someone who typically drinks red wine, would they drink this? Yeah, they would because it's a little, it's softer, it's on the lighter side. It would pair up really well with some uh, uh, grilled salmon some roasted lamb, even a nice pasta dish with a marinara sauce, but this would go really well. Wonderful. And it's a nice value. It's only $9.99 a bottle. You can't go wrong with that. $9.99, exactly. under 10 bucks. Under 10 bucks. That's what we like to find. A lot of wines under $10. Great. And what else do we have here? Well, the next one to talk about also is, um, because of the name, is the foreplay. This actually is from Italy, and it's four indigenous grapes from the island of S Sicily. Uh -huh. So it's fun because of the name. And uh, this is more of a medium-bodied red, again, Pastas, grilled meats would go really well with and this. And this is probably a bottle of wine you don't want to bring on a first date, a first Valentine's Day. Here's your foreplay wine. Great. Maybe they're degreed into that too much. That sounds like a fun one That as would be well. a fun one there. Um, and then the, the uh, third red wine I'm I like to talk about, I decanted also, is the Game Bay uh, Cabernet family, which is a blend of Cabernet. Um, I like this wine a lot. It's got some nice uh, cherry to mm -hmm. it, a little bit of vanilla. Uh, drinks really well. I poured some of it in the glass here. Oh, great. Are we, we trying? We can try these. Alex is going to really, really wish get some he had of the, this assignment. I even get some of this little bit of black cherry in it. Um, this is nice because it's got some soft tannins to it. And Nick, talk to us a bit about the benefit of smelling your wine before you taste it. Because a lot of people just jump right in and start drinking. How does... Well, that's one of the uh, important elements of the wine is smelling it. You swirling it would open up the wine and bring a lot of the fruits out. You smell it. It's nice to pick up the aromas if it's uh, a black cherry, if there's some chocolate in there, some vanilla, um, some raspberry. Uh, sometimes we can get really intricate and say there's some leatheriness mm -hmm. to it. But uh, this wine, you know, it's nice, it's soft. Again, uh, great to drink on its own, also to pair up with many meals. And someone that doesn't drink uh, into the big Cabernets, this is a great Cabernet starter because it's got the soft tannins to it. Okay, yeah, because a lot of times people think Cabernet and they think, oh, that's too big for me. And, exactly. And they maybe want to steer away from it. But you're saying this could pair up well. Yeah, this would be great for somebody who's doing a transition, let's say, from drinking Merlots and wants to get in Cabernets. Well, this is actually a blend, so it's nice to make that transition. And the price point on this? This one actually is great. We have it on sale for $17.99 a bottle. Wow, you can't go wrong. I'll get one more drink on that. And you have champagne. Uh, nothing says love like uh, champagne. bubble Champagne. And, you know, very common, uh, great bottle of champagne is the Veuve Clicquot, the yellow label. Um, it's nice. It's got some nice, a um, little bit of doughiness to it, but it's a dry style. It's got some of that baked apple finish, a little bit of citrus on the end. Great. And also $36.99 for this caliber of champagne. You can't get it that bad. That's great. And if you show up with a bottle of Veuve, people know that you've come with a quality bottle of exactly. champagne. Exactly. Exactly. And you have a real fun one over here. I can't, I might have to even pick this up a little bit here. You have, it's an aphrodisiac wine. I don't want to read too much into it. I'm hoping that's just the label. This is actually uh, new from Quadi, from right here uh, in the valley. And it's called the Damiana. And it's an aperitif wine. And actually they have, they add a, um, a plant called Damiana in it, which is a, uh, it's a, I guess what they call it, it's a geranium, excuse me. And uh, it's an aphrodisiac, an herbal aphrodisiac. So, uh, so this do you is think it fun. works? I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but maybe Valentine's night I'll have to try it out. Yeah, you open like that up and get back to us on that <laughs> one. We'll find out if that worked or not. I don't think I'll have that on Valentine's Day. And what else do we have here? Well, this is another one from Quadi that I really like. It's their black mustacat wine called Elysium, uh, meaning heaven in Greek. And uh, this is fun. It's served on its own, served chilled, great dessert wine, 
but I like serving it over vanilla ice cream, and um, I mean, it just makes a great uh, Elysium Sunday is what they'd call it. And what a great way, I mean, to, if you just had a wonderful meal to really top it and, can, and put the dessert with the wine all top of each other. Exactly, it and beautiful. it's easy, it's something at the last minute, so it's, you don't have to plan very much for it. And tell us about this now, it looks like champagne, but we don't want to be fooled. What exactly is that? Now this one here is uh, from Italy. It's uh, called Bracchetto di Acqui. It's Rosso Regali from the winery called Banfi. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It is sparkling. It's a sparkling red wine. Uh, it's got a lot of um, strawberry and, and berryness to it. One of my favorites is to pair it up with chocolate. Okay, so this would be something you'd serve with des dessert? I would serve it with dessert. You can serve it beforehand mm -hmm. or even on its own afterwards, but I would definitely serve it with chocolate. Oh, actually. we have chocolate here. And I Perfect. recommend you trying some of this dark chocolate. This is a bocce actually from Italy, meaning kiss. Do so, I have the kiss before or after? How does it work? Before and after. Oh, okay. Mmm, so. mm-hmm. Wow, that's really wonderful. That is really good. It's nice and, it's nice and sweet. It's mm -hmm. rich, but it's refreshing. It's not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. That's this great. It's a great combination. It's actually like a Valentine's Day dream. Yes. You have your chocolate. You have your uh, champagne. Now, it's not called champagne, but it's a red sparkling wine, correct. correct? Yes. Okay, and I noticed that we have the decanter here. And just a little bit, if you could talk with us about the pros and cons of, ben of uh, decanting your wine. Well, I'm a... I'm a big fan of decanting wines, all wines, if it's young wines or older wines. Young wines, I believe, as soon as you put them in a decanter, um, I would always pour myself off some to try it and see how it changes in 15 to 20 minutes in decanter. The fruits will really open up. It actually softens out some of the tannins in the wines too. It, is it kind of like aging the wine in a quick manner or what exactly is it doing? It, it's sometimes that? it does because it softens out the tannins but also will bring out that vibrant fruit that's sometimes locked up in that bottle. So um, giving it the full surface, the oxygen will hit the wine and bring out that, that nice fruitiness out of the wines. Wonderful. All right. A lot of great information here. Hey, Nick, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Cheers Day. Cheers to Thank you. you. Cheers. And happy Valentine's Day, Alex. Thank you.